Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel today. Very exciting news. FSLTL Overnight has finally released its new auto matching product for VATSIM inside the sim. It's something that you guys might remember around about a year and a half or so ago we were using inside streams uh, and then all of a sudden the project stopped so after a little bit of a pause and a lot of secret behind the scenes development which I've been closely keeping my eye on we can finally now show you guys how to install the product and in comparison to AIG it's night and day so I hope you find this very short video useful it's not complex but I want to show you guys exactly how to do it nice and quick make sure you hit like and subscribe down below now what you want to do is find your fly-by-wire installer go ahead and open it and if you haven't updated it it will automatically download the update and it'll ask you to restart and there we go now there's a change log there's a new update in relation to other things but what you'll now notice is a little radar icon on the left click that and it's FSLTL and there's both two options now the base models which is for those of us who want to use it on BATSIM and also an injector but as you can see it actually is based on flight radar 24 so in the sense of uh, how up to date these flights are how well they get updated this is probably as close to realism inside um, traffic injection within a flight sim that we can actually get but for the purpose of that sim we go ahead go to FSLTL traffic base models version 1 mainline release and we just press install 3.5 gigabytes of space and we go ahead and let it do its thing now while you're waiting for it to download what you can do is go to the website fslivetrafficliveries.com and have a little read through the installation instructions browse through some of its features and have a look at the frequently asked questions as well in relation to liveries there's a lot of liveries available including virtual airlines fly uk and also a couple of osprey airways liveries for those of you who like to fly with our channel call sign whenever the fsltl product is updated what you'll be able to do is find it inside this installer from fly by wire and you'll see the update icon be available so nice and easy in that sense for the next bit once it's all installed we're going to need to find the vmr which is the model matching file and we're going to add it to vpilot no three day downloads we're almost there now one of the big questions that uh, we've already actually been discussing a little bit inside our discord server this morning is what about aig now personally I find when you look at the, the model logs and the different um, things that are available across both packages, I'm going to still keep AIG installed. Not only because it took such a long time to install anyway that I'm loath to just delete it, but also because, as we're going to see in a minute in vPilot, this will offer the sim the opportunity to scan between both sets of files and actually increase our chance of perfect model matching. So now it's installed, we're going to go to vPilot. And at the same time, as vPilot is loading and doing a model scan, you want to go to your MSFS community folder and find FSLTL traffic base. A little folder, just like that. If we click into this, what you'll find is the FSLTL rules. And that is exactly where you want to guide vPilot to now. So within the vPilot program, folks, go to settings expand the model matching settings tab and go to custom rules add custom rule set and we want to navigate to this location so for me I've got the MSFS folder set as a shortcut on desktop and you want to head through to find that FSLTL folder that we just discussed FSLTL traffic base and then double click the FSLTL rules VMR there we are and now it's in the list one final step select it and move it up to the top 
Press supply. Okay. And you are done. In all of... In total for myself, 11 minutes. Video will be a bit shorter. You now have... The newest model matching folders for Microsoft Flight Simulator installed via the Flavawire installer. Okay, so once you've got it all installed, go into the sim. And for those of you using B-Pilot, log in as you usually would. And providing you can see everybody nicely, then it's working quite well. You might get some failures. And if you get that in the little red box and the little boot that you get, go to the chat box there, type dot aircraft. So full stop aircraft, press enter, and it will bring up another box. And what this is telling you is the call sign of the aircraft, the type code, the model that it's ended up showing, and then the rule set that it's using. So that will help you troubleshoot whichever model matching system you use. Okay, so what if you want to use the traffic injector? For those of you who like to fly offline, the second prong of this video, this is for you. All you need to do is load up the fly-by-wire installer once again, and you want to go to the FSLTL traffic injector and press install, and install this package. Really, really small package, it installs very quickly, and then once it's done, it will update, and it will have uh, FSLTL injector running, and it'll ask you if you want to start it, like this. So what we'll do is we'll press start, and we then get a number of options here in this pop-up window. Now what this is asking us is, do we want to change any of the settings that we can see listed there? Now these options include IFR, VFR, parked aircraft, and flight planner DBAPI. So this, this final option will configure the injector to represent optional realistic flight plan following and what you need to do there is go to the website that's in the description down below, flightplandatabase.com. Once you've signed up to a free account with Flight Plan Database, it will send you a link to verify your email address. And then once you've done that, click refresh. Go to your account settings. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see API access. Create new key. Copy it. Go back to your little program here and click yes and once you've done that active IFR aircraft we're going to skip over that press enter max VFR aircraft we're going to skip over that press enter again you can configure these exactly how you wish additional parked aircraft currently it's set to half uh, again if you like a busier environment you would type 10 here and press enter we're going to leave it set at 5 Blocked aircraft removal time. 240 seconds is the default. And now the API key. Again, don't share it with anybody. Paste it in here, press enter. Once you've pressed enter, it will begin the injection. Whether you're tweaking settings on or off, pressing yes or no to changing those options, it will then begin the injection process, which is what's happening here. And you can see Heathrow is beginning to populate really nicely with various aircraft all on different stands. If we go back to that window that we've just seen, where we just put our API key in and changed some settings, we can see all of these different options here listed, all of the different aeroplanes and uh, the routes effectively that it's going to be loading up all the different aircraft and the flight numbers the call signs and where they're going to as well which is again a nice little feature that they've added in here so the injection can take a little while to get it all fed in and working nicely but tweak the settings if you're not sure about anything have a look at the FSLTR website and uh, enjoy it Hopefully you guys have found both parts of this video useful, depending on which is relevant to you, if not both. All the links are in the description down below. And similarly, I'm interested to hear your thoughts in the comments section below as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe before you head off. 
and I'll see you very soon for another live stream. Take care. Thanks for watching.